while searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. We're certain to find something here. It looks like another damned riddle to me. Show me! Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. Let's try it. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. Let's try it. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. that inscription again four guardians four flames standing proud in a line the first to light his fire dared not march on the end the second beside the first played a woeful lament the third kept close to his faithful beast the fourth marched not beside the first yet like the second played a tune and thus they stood o'er their queen who slept beneath flickering stars
Tom. Gavella Glad. Let's try it. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. Wait. Something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. Is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? going. You learned something about Ciri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, Visit me sometime? I'll try. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.
Yes. Vamos. Ai, ai. Esse yonder ainda me quer. Heard of the fly head brigade? Your kind, sir. Non humans. That's it, Roach. Bless you. Go! Slow now. like rain. Got any vittles? Hungry like a wolf I am.
Who's there? Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. I'll look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. It's a tired old man not to panic and run when I appear. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I'm too old to scurry. Besides... What could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid? Wouldn't work. Your skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? You can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Just looking to make some coin, or is there another reason you're helping me? What you did at the crossroads, that's why they won't let you in, right? The innkeep? My sister's husband. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back, when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the Lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that, then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again, then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks.
Come on now.
Emphysema? Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well, then let's discuss it. One thing, you do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Now where do I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village.
You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean... Do you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had an app to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked, but Father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats, that would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. Explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Could do a lot more. Come. Hmm. Massacred by something with immense claws. Look. There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something.
chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. often send their children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children, sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. This way! Through the cave! You lead. It's a bit dark. Right? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Mm. Mm. 
What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide. Give him a trumpet. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Baron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I, I not this, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. 
You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womb on the other side favorite? of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again! Our oh, bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Mangled bit of candlestick. 
Someone smashed it against the wall and broke clear into the wardrobe. Getting interesting. Might be more traces of fighting. Gotta look around. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Need a good plow. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. What? What the? Oh. Huh? <laughs> what do you think here, Vagrant? Don't poking around. signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. 
good plow. One fucked up face. someone. Stinks of the guardian corpse to me. Well, bring out the oh. fake. Hmm. made it to Velen.
Look. Fuck off or I'll smash ya. Ever heard of preventive arse whooping? Giddy up. Whoa there, Roach. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant hoods? Show me what you got.
I don't object to your white mold. Oh, no.
slower. Hanging's over before there's any pain. This cocksucker's got to suffer. Hey, look. Some strays wandered our way. Ever? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Tibbs on a chat with him. A long one. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. 
proper as amulets go. You'd protect it well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was. Evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Can't seriously think I'm gonna chase down your goat. A Pella without a goat makes for a mute profit. Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think.
good. This way, I think. Good. <laughs> this way, I think. goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the peller. Come on, take you back to the peller. Misses you something awful. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, your grace. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? go. Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Sight, nowhere to be found. One princess. Flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. Nowhere in sight. Go 
goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. <laughs> Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do. Is it? Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Anna tell you all this? Did she come at night, Greg? The oath? What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs and hen's feet. He drinks. 
to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf, wise wolf, what is it the wolf needs? Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. So long. White Wolf. Folk from the village come here often? Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for Forefather's Eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off the pelican. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. Not a matter for the pella, that. So long.